Hi, my name is Eric Shutt, Hayes Disc Brake Product Manager here at Hayes Global Headquarters in beautiful Wisconsin. We're going to go through our brand new dual syringe bleed kit. Our new dual syringe bleed kit will come with not only the two syringes, but also the fittings to work on all Hayes brakes from the Prime Series, Stroker Series, Dyno Series, HFX, Mag, and 9. You also need a box end wrench, a T10 Torx, 4 millimeter Allen, 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench, a pair of gloves, safety goggles, uh, either dot three or four brake fluid, which we sell in either small or large containers, and isopropyl alcohol. We developed our brand new dual syringe system because it is the easiest and best tool to evacuate air out of the system. We're going to go through and show you how to use all systems, but we're going to be focusing here on the Prime Pro. Uh, the very first thing you'll do um, is to go ahead and remove the caliper from the bike. We're going to go ahead and using a two and a half millimeter, we're going to release and remove the pads. Uh, that's always a good idea to remove the pads out of any system you're going to bleed because fluid will contaminate the pads. On uh, the pros like we have here and the expert, any system that has a poppet cam, we're going to go ahead and put that in the full open position. Once you have the pads out of your system, we're going to use a small box end wrench to go ahead and retract the pistons all the way back into the caliper. Go ahead and push gently and if the system has a pin in the center on the pistons, you don't want to push on that. But putting the pistons all the way back into the bore will reset the system and allow you to insert the bleed block and go on to the next step. This is our brand new bleed block. This is going to, you're going to push this in here that will retract the pistons all the way back into their bore and this will keep them intact as we go through the bleed process. So the bleed kit comes with fittings for all of our brake systems. For the Prime Series, we're going to use the fittings that you see here. Go ahead and assemble these onto your two syringes and then get your, your brake fluid. As you see here, this is brand new brake fluid with a seal. That's really important. Anytime you go through and bleed your brakes, having a brand new container of, of brake fluid is key. So I'm going to go ahead and fill one a quarter full and one about three quarters full of brake fluid and move on to the next step. With your bleed block in place, we're going to go ahead and use the T10 to remove the upper bleed port. Set this aside carefully and take the syringe which is a quarter full and have, uh, in this case, I've purged almost all of the air out of it. We're going to go ahead and connect that to the master cylinder assembly. Using the same T10 tool, we're going to remove this bleed fitting. We're keeping the caliper below the master, master cylinder assembly, and that'll keep air in place. We're going to remove this. We're going to connect our second syringe, the one that's three quarters full, to the system. With the clamp loose, we're going to go ahead and move the brake into a 12 o'clock position, like so, and also rotate it like so. Continuing to keep the caliper below the master cylinder, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to apply pressure on the caliper side, followed by a little bit of retraction on the master cylinder side. And we're going to go ahead and cycle some fluid back and forth. This is going to allow not just fresh fluid into the system, but also help evacuate any air from the system. Go ahead and do that a couple times. Next step, we're going to go ahead and reorientate the master, cil master cylinder assembly down to a 6 o'clock position and then rotate the handlebars down to a 45 degree. What we're doing here is we're moving the system around 
and giving the any air that's trapped inside an opportunity to come out as we continue to bleed it. We'll continue to do the same process by using the syringes. I'm gonna go ahead and apply positive pressure here and a little bit of vacuum here to continue to cycle fluid through the system and allow any air to evacuate. Here we go. Go ahead and do that a couple times. Be sure not to bottom out either of the plunger assemblies as that can help uh, induce a little bit of air. We're gonna start to close the system back up working backwards from the way that we opened it up. Keeping the caliper below the master cylinder, I have our piston here. We're gonna apply a little bit of positive pressure to the syringe. That's gonna keep us from ingesting any air as we go ahead and close the system up. One of the things we can do is go with this rag, we're gonna remove the syringe. That's gonna help reduce the amount of fluid we're gonna lose. I'm going to go ahead and remove the fitting, the rag in hand, and then seal it up with our T10. I'm going to put my thumb over that. With the caliper system closed off, we can go ahead and we'll spray this down with some isopropyl alcohol and rinse off any of the, uh, the brake fluid. We'll essentially do the same thing at the master cylinder side. I'm going to apply a little bit of positive pressure on the syringe. I'm going to go ahead and remove the syringe from the fitting. And again, this just helps reduce the amount of fluid we spill. And then I'll simply remove the fitting from the master cylinder I'm going to cover it with my thumb here momentarily and then insert the T10. Little bit of isopropyl alcohol. Go ahead and clean this up. Now that the system is fully sealed up, with the bleed block in place, you can go ahead and feel the system to make sure you have a proper bleed. You can move the poppet cam and also feel the different levels of engagement. Go ahead and reinstall the caliper and the pads as per the instructions in our manual. So as we noted before, this bleed kit will work on all of our brakes. We have here an HFX mag and an HFX9. Uh, pretty similar process through and through. We're going to orientate the master at 12 o'clock. You'll see we have two different fittings included in the system. This nozzle is going to go ahead and be used at the master and the uh, this one's going to be mounted to the caliper. For the mag series we're going to go ahead and use a small Phillips screwdriver to remove this plug here. We'll go ahead and attach the syringe that's a quarter full with this nozzle and this is going to be a press fit into the master cylinder. Like other systems, keep the caliper below the master cylinder. We're going to go ahead and put a six millimeter box wrench onto the bleed bleeder right there. Earlier systems will use an eight millimeter box wrench. We're going to take our three quarter full syringe, slide the hose over the bleeder and take this compression clip and that'll hold it right on there. We'll start by opening the bleeder quarter turn. We're going to use the same method where we're going to put apply a positive pressure and gently negative pressure at the master cylinder to go ahead and move fluid through the system. Once you've evacuated any air and put fresh fluid in the system, close the bleeder. You can go ahead and remove the, uh, the syringe system and close off the top. So we'll complete the bleed on here by go ahead and we're going to apply a little bit of positive pressure to the system. 
we're going to remove the syringe followed by removing the hose. Keep a rag there so any small fluid is contained. And we'll go ahead and put the Phillips screw back in. We'll spray this down with some isopropyl and you're all done. As mentioned, the 9 bleeds up just like the HFX Mag series, but I want to show you this system here. This is on the 9 as well as the Soul. This is the bleed port plug. And you have to be very careful, and when you're removing this plug, you want to go around, move it up, and what looks like a small o ring underneath there is actually part of the bladder. You want to hold that down while you pull the plug free like so. That's key. With the bleed plug out, you're going to go ahead and use this fitting with both the 9 and the sole, but the, uh, the entire bleed process is the same between the 9 and the mag. Thanks for taking the time to learn how to service Hayes disc brakes. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out and let us know, and have a great ride. Just need some time to get